very personal on YouTube, so I thought maybe I would answer some questions. This is kind of scary. So I posted this. You never know what you're gonna get on my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram, by the way. But let us dive into some of these questions. Let's start out easy. Are your lashes real or fake? If they are fake, what kind are they? They always look fabulous. Thank you. Uh, girl, these are fake. So fake. <laughs> I had eyelash extensions for many years and I just recently got them taken off and now I'm wearing like falsies because I just feel like they look better on camera. And these are Coco lashes from Amazon. They're very affordable. <laughs> Are you still wanting to start a vlog channel? Love you, XOXO, love you too. And yes, I am. I really wanna start vlogging. I'm gonna start a, technically a third channel because I have a second channel where I upload all of my streams to. I'll have a link down below, go check it out. <laughs> but yes, I'm building a house and I think that documenting the process could be really cool. I've taken a lot of clips and videos. Obviously the house is kind of flying now. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm losing my chance right now. But like, I wanna start a vlog channel. If you would like to see a vlog channel, leave some video ideas down below. Cause I'd love to like, kind of know what, what I could do over there besides vlogging. <laughs> The obvious one. How are you mentally? Smiley face. Uh, it goes up and down. <laughs> Today was a good day, kind of. Earlier I felt kind of blah, but then I, I forced myself to put on makeup and here I am and I feel better. And so, I don't know, it goes up and down. I'm trying to remember to have hobbies because I work a lot, like a lot. Ah! So I'm trying to remember to have hobbies. I'm forcing myself to take Saturday and Sunday off of work now. So, um, I'm okay. <laughs> How is the training and working out going? It's going good. If you guys don't know, I've posted it a few times on Instagram. I am actually going through my own weight loss journey. I gained a lot of weight during COVID and I was already overweight before then. So I'm just, that's my, it's my own little, it's my own little journey. <laughs> it's going well. I think I was down 21 pounds, which is a pretty good achievement. What got you into YouTube slash streaming? Well, what got me into YouTube was that I was literally looking up a Sims trailer because I wanted to buy a new expansion pack, but I didn't know which one. And I came across the world of Let's Plays and people just playing The Sims on YouTube for fun. And I thought, oh my God, that looks like so much fun. And it might be a really good way for me to meet new friends who are also interested in The Sims. So I made a channel. I had no expectations. I didn't know it would leave me here at all. And I did make new friends. So mission accomplished. <laughs> Makeup tutorial when? <laughs> I guess whenever I start vlogging, that's probably something I would put in the vlog is like me getting ready. So probably whenever I decide to start a vlog channel, I just need to do it, right? I'm just being slow about it. Ooh, what was the process to decide to build a house instead of buy? Love a good real estate question, something I'm very passionate about. I wanted a house that was more future-proof and up to date with technology. It's very helpful for someone with my job who works on a computer like 24 seven. And around my area, there was really nothing that that was new and so I decided to look for somewhere I could build. I just wanted something new, funky, fresh, modern. There's nothing like that around here. So I just decided to branch out and try to build a house. Ooh. It was kind of a shot in the dark, to be honest. I'm still really scared. <laughs> if you could say something while the whole world was listening, what would you say? That is a really amazing question. It also makes me think. <laughs> if I could say something while the whole world was listening, what would you say? The world does not revolve around you. Whoop. Wee woo, wee woo. 2020 has really shown. I feel like a lot of people think the world revolves around them. Mm -mm. Think about others, care about others. It takes a lot more effort to be mean and rude and it takes almost no effort to be nice and kind to people, so. Is Yuna your biological child? <laughs> yes. Some of these questions are so nice. I'm like literally tearing up. Like I'm gonna cry. I'm also my period, so <laughs> I'm a little emotional. Ugh. No, my makeup looks good today, no. Back to that question, how are you mentally? I don't know now. Okay, let's lighten it up. Favorite way to kill a sim, fire. <laughs> <gasps> what is the aesthetic of your new house? Ooh. It's very modern, but I would say it's more like modern farmhouse. I like things like wood beams, just like a lot of wood mixed with modern like elements. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm not the best at this sort of stuff, but I think it's modern farmhouse. That's kind of the vibe I like. Are you also a bit fed up of The Sims 4? We need a little oomph. <laughs> I agree that we do need a little oof. I wouldn't say I'm fed up with The Sims 4. I think I've just been playing it for so long that I'm like, I gotta do something else. My attention span is so short. It's so little and puny and small. And I've been playing it for so long on YouTube and I just need to shake it up. So right now, <laughs> you might've noticed, I'm kind of just doing anything and everything that I think is fun on my channel right now. Sims is still in there, um, but there are some other things kind of 
sprinkled in and I've been enjoying myself a lot. Thank you very much. I know you didn't ask, but I just thought I'd squeeze that one in. How did you and Zeus meet? This is such a weird <laughs> and kind of a silly story. So I have been a big Twitch watcher for many years before I started streaming. There's a streamer called Moon Moon. He was doing GTA roleplay a few years ago and I was really into watching it and he was really into watching it. We had never met, but obviously we have a mutual friend, James, formerly known as SM Supply. And I was talking to James about it and Zeus was talking to James about it. And so James was one day was just like, hey, you guys should just talk about it with each other. And so then we did. We also saw each other in that Twitch chat and was like, hey, I know you. And he was like, I know you too. But we had never actually talked or met before. We just like knew of each other. It's kind of a stupid story. I'm sorry. I don't really tell it that well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we had some weird thing in common and that's how we started talking. We didn't really start talking though until I went to one of his streams with his mom in it and I loved their relationship. I think it says a lot about a person. He treats his mom very well and I was like, Oop. That's a good sign, baby. I've never dated anybody with a good relationship with their mom, so ooh. So many people are asking me corn-related questions and I couldn't figure out why and then I realized like the picture is just me as a piece of corn. I actually hate corn. <laughs> It's my least favorite vegetable. Corn and peas. I do not like them. What do you have planned for the future of your channel? This is a good question. I think the plan right now is to just find a rhythm, find something I like to do. I've been enjoying myself lately, but it's finding a nice happy medium of what do I like and what do you guys like? The perfect sandwich. First thing you want to do once everything's back to normal. Ooh. Well, first I want to go on a vacation. I want to go somewhere that's quiet and peaceful on like the water or something. I need a vacation and I really want, I didn't get to take one last year. Usually I do like one a year and I didn't get to do it last year obviously because of the panini. That's what I would like to do first. And then I'd like to travel. <laughs> really want to go to Japan. Wouldn't mind going to Australia again. Wouldn't mind going to England to see all my buddies. Disney World. Hello? The, that's the best one. Sorry to all my friends, but Disney World. <laughs> they understand. What do you think about very public relationships? Why are you keeping yours more private? I wouldn't say it's like totally private. Obviously you guys know like who I'm dating and you know, I guess I don't like blast everything on the internet, but there really isn't much like to blast on the internet. <laughs> this is the most stable, healthy relationship I have ever been in. There is no tea, nothing. And I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. If you never found YouTube, what career slash job do you think you would have? I think I've been asked this before and I, I never really know what to answer, but I think I would still try to work for myself. Before YouTube, I did a photography business for a little while. I did like portrait photography. I probably would have taken that and done like maybe wedding photography or like maybe blown it up a little bit bigger. I really like working for myself. <laughs> I've been doing it for so long. I feel like that's probably the path I would have wanted. Unless it didn't work out and I had to get a real job and then I just would have gotten a real job. <laughs> okay, I have the answer for this. What is a video that you have always wanted to do but never had the time to? I really want to do a, like, My Sim Controls My Day challenge. What is that actually called? Like, 24 hour living as my sim challenge. That thing. It was, like, really popular a few years ago and I really wanted to do it. But my house isn't really, like, set up to, <laughs> to film in. It's super dark and I don't know I just feel weird like filming in my house just because it's it just doesn't like look it's not like good for filming I don't know how to how do I explain that it's just not good for filming I don't know but I really want to record that video so bad and in my new house I probably will even though it's kind of old and outdated at this point I'm still gonna do it because I just want to what's your favorite book I know this is gonna sound a little bit cheesy it's the great Gatsby it was like the only book in high school I read that I liked and I I love it. Like I love, I don't know why I like that book so much. It's kind of, like, I don't know why. I don't, I don't have an explanation for that. I just really like it. Also love the movies. They're also good, <laughs> but the book was great. I don't know why. That, I, that one always just comes to my mind first. Speaking of books, what's the latest book you read? I just finished Midnight Sun, which is, if you don't know, Twilight, but from Edward's perspective. It was a super long book. I honestly, it wasn't that amazing <laughs> to me, to me, because I already knew it was gonna happen. And I was like, yeah, I mean, none of this is a surprise. <laughs> and it was just so long. I did read the whole thing though. But if you're like a diehard Twilight fan, you probably will like it. Ooh, how do you keep on a schedule with only working from home? Okay, let me put you on something. Block scheduling is your friend. Okay, this is what I try to keep it up the best I can. It doesn't always work, but it's what I try to do. So from like 12 to four, I record videos. And from like four to six, I'll like edit or do thumbnails or something. And then like from like eight 
to 11 is when I like eat dinner and relax. Like it's like, I have like a schedule, you know? I wake up at nine and like from nine to 12, I like work out, take a shower, eat breakfast. That's like what I try to do. That's a helpful tip. I just recently started doing that, but I find that it's very helpful. This one's kind of sad, but it says, what is your favorite memory of your dad? If you don't know, my dad passed away in 2014. It feels like it was two days ago. Something that always pops into my head is he was always in a band. He was a musician. Some of his friends were more like at the time, like abstract looking, like they had crazy hair, mohawks, tattoos all over their bodies, like crazy piercings. At the time that was really weird and like, whoa, but like now it's more accepted. <laughs> there was a time when I was like going with him to like a practice or a party or something he was playing at. And he like sat me down and he was like, hey, I just want to let you know, like some of these people, they might look a certain way. I just wanted to tell you before you like see them and get scared. They're some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And they're lovely people. And then it was like kind of like this lesson of like, it doesn't matter what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. That sort of, you know, goes along that line. And I just like, I remember that moment so well because it like put it into perspective for me as like a young child. <laughs> and I don't know, I just remember it all the time. I think about it all the time. Looks mean nothing, baby. It's all about what's in here. Anyways, we'll we'll end on that sweet note. But thank you guys so much for sending in those questions. Um, I literally cried at one point because they were so nice. A lot of them were just really sweet messages. And I don't know, I just wasn't expecting that. So I like wanted to cry. I still do. It doesn't help that I'm on my period. <laughs> Is that TMI? I don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.